Welcome to the world of tech. Congratulations on getting your new device. It's exciting to dive into the world of technology. Don't worry if you're new to all this. We're here to guide you step by step. With a little patience and our easy to follow instructions, you'll be amazed at what you can do. Think of all the fun you'll have connecting with loved ones, exploring new interests, and making your life easier. Let's get started. This guide will be your companion every step of the way. Making the process smooth and enjoyable. We'll cover everything from unboxing to connecting to the internet. We'll even show you how to personalize your device and troubleshoot any issues. Get ready to unlock a world of possibilities. Remember, learning something new is a journey, not a race. Take your time, don't be afraid to ask questions, and most importantly, have fun. Now let's unbox your new device and embark on this exciting adventure together. Let's start by unboxing your new device. Carefully open the box and take out all the contents. You'll likely find your device, a power adapter, and some cables. Don't worry if it seems a bit overwhelming at first. We'll go through each item together. First, locate the power adapter. It's the part that plugs into the wall outlet. Next, find the cable that connects your device to the power adapter. Usually, one end of the cable fits into the adapter and the other end connects to your device. Now, let's find a suitable spot for your device. For a computer, a desk or table is ideal. If you have a tablet or smartphone, any clean, flat surface will do. Make sure the area is well lit and comfortable for you to work in. Once you've found the perfect spot, you're ready to move on to the next step, powering up your device. Now that you've unboxed your device, you're probably excited to get started. It's time to bring it to life and make it your own. Start by connecting one end of the power cable to your device and the other end to the power adapter. This step is crucial as it ensures your device has the necessary power to function. Then plug the adapter into a wall outlet. Make sure the outlet is working properly to avoid any power issues. You should see a light on your device or the adapter indicating it's receiving power. This light is a good sign that everything is connected correctly. Next, locate the power button on your device. This button is essential for turning your device on and off. It's usually on the side or top of the device and might have a symbol that looks like a circle with a line through it. This symbol is universal and helps you identify the power button easily. Press the power button and your device should turn on. This is the moment when your device comes to life. You might see a welcome screen or a logo while it boots up. This screen indicates that your device is starting its operating system. For computers, you'll also need to connect a monitor. The monitor is your visual interface to interact with the computer, keyboard, and mouse. These peripherals are essential for input and navigation. These usually have different types of cables, so make sure you connect them to the correct ports on the back or sides of your computer. Each port is designed for a specific type of cable. Don't worry if you're not sure which cable goes where. Just look for matching symbols or shapes. These symbols are there to guide you and make the setup process easier. Once everything is connected and powered up, you're ready to dive into the world of the internet. Enjoy exploring, learning, and creating with your new device. Whether you're browsing the web, connecting with friends, or working on a project, your device is now ready to assist you in countless ways. Connecting to the internet your gateway to the digital world. Connecting to the internet is your key to unlocking a world of information, entertainment, and communication. Whether you wanna catch up on the latest news, watch your favorite shows, or stay in touch with loved ones. 
the internet makes it all possible. To get started, you need a Wi-Fi network. This is the foundation of your internet connection at home. Think of Wi-Fi as an invisible signal that allows your device to connect to the internet wirelessly. It's like a bridge that connects your device to the vast world of the internet. On your computer, tablet, or smartphone, look for the Wi-Fi icon. This icon is your gateway to accessing available networks. It usually looks like a series of curved lines radiating outward, symbolizing the wireless signal. Clicking or tapping on this icon will show you a list of available Wi-Fi networks. These are the networks within range of your device. Select your home's Wi-Fi network from the list. This is usually named after your internet service provider or a custom name you chose. You'll then be prompted to enter your Wi-Fi password. This is a security measure to ensure only authorized users can access your network. This is the password you set up for your home internet. If you can't remember it, check the back of your router or the paperwork from your internet service provider. Once you've entered the correct password, your device will connect to the internet. You'll see a notification confirming the connection. You can test your connection by opening a web browser and visiting a website. This ensures that everything is working correctly. If the website loads, congratulations. You've successfully connected to the internet. You're now online and ready to explore the digital world. From social media to online shopping, the possibilities are endless. Now that you're connected, let's personalize your device and make it your own. Adjust settings, download apps, and customize your experience to suit your needs and preferences. Personalizing your device, making it your own. Personalizing your device allows you to customize it to your liking, making it more comfortable and enjoyable to use. This process not only enhances your user experience, but also makes your device feel uniquely yours. One of the first things you can do is change the wallpaper or background image. This simple change can significantly alter the look and feel of your device, giving it a fresh and personalized touch. This is the image you see on your screen when your device is idle. It's like the digital equivalent of decorating your living space with your favorite pictures or artwork. You can choose from a variety of pre-installed images or even use your own photos. Using personal photos can add a touch of nostalgia and make your device feel more familiar and welcoming. To change the wallpaper, simply right click on your desktop and select personalize. This will open a menu where you can explore different customization options. From there, you can choose a new background image and adjust other settings like screen brightness and color themes. These adjustments can help reduce eye strain and make your screen easier to look at for extended periods. Next, you might want to adjust the text size and display settings. These changes can make a big difference in how easily you can read and interact with your device. If you're having trouble reading a small text, you can increase the font size or zoom in on web pages. This is especially useful for those with visual impairments or anyone who prefers larger text for easier reading. You can also adjust the screen resolution to make images and text appear sharper. A higher resolution can enhance the clarity of your display, making everything look more crisp and detailed. Remember, your device is a reflection of you. So feel free to experiment with different settings and options until you find what works best for you. Don't hesitate to explore and try out new features. Don't be afraid to try new things and make it your own. The more you personalize your device, the more comfortable and efficient your experience will be. Enjoy the process of making your device truly yours.